Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to right there. Smash like. That right there is now our advertisement. I'm just cut out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Damn on that bell. Dab on that bell. Hey, welcome to Heat Wave. My name is Brian Belcher, and I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. Legally. Yeah, legally, Brittany Saturn. <laughs> you changed yet. your name. No, I meant like the I'm I'm not legally. Wedding. It's the, that's the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's actually two episodes ago. <laughs> time is a flat circle. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I don't believe in time. It was invented by the government. <laughs> that's what, that's they why they keep changing it all the twice time. a year. Yeah, yeah. Mother, mother truck. They're changing it this weekend. Mm-hmm. Are no, no, two weekends ago. Two weekends ago. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. They're doing it again. <laughs> hey, it's like we record this at different times hey, than when it goes out. Worry also, about it. I'm also joined by Jairus Mitchell. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and it, Chris, it's the Hutch Hutcherson. I wasn't ready for this episode. My glasses weren't on. It, but <laughs> yeah, so I noticed it. Like, as soon as I was like, welcome to you. I was like, oh, shit. You're we like, also I'm trying to clean your also glasses. We also did flip the camera, like, view around so we well, can see Well, we'll live. No. Wait, I, I got it. We're flying blind. Oh, oh, I didn't get up oh, this God. time. I specifically did not get up. But Hutch did. Good job, Hutch. Thanks. Hutch is the I'm, wind beneath our Hutch wings. <laughs> that is what that sounds like. Exactly. <laughs> Thank so you, Bette Midler. You, if you can't tell, we're a little loopy today. None of us really slept super well last night. Brittany was up at six in the morning just doing things. <laughs> Hutch woke up like 25 minutes ago. <laughs> and Brian probably slept like a little babby. No, I didn't, <laughs> but we'll go with that. I, I did have acid reflux, so I got an excuse to. I had a cat that was smothering me every 15 minutes. Mm. We think mm. Beans is the one who loves us the most, but I think she's the one who actually hates us the most because she tries to kill us in her sleep. She's just gaslighting She literally you. will not leave me she alone. She'll kill you with kindness. She'll lay on your face. So my question <laughs> for all of you today is, how do you get your best sleep? Do you have a sleep regiment? Do you have a thing? things you do before you go to bed? Do you have a preferred way of sleeping? For myself, I get my best sleep when I move away from screens like hour or two before. Maybe do a little bit of light reading, take a little melatonin, brush my teeth and lay in bed uh, hoping that I don't die. Um, (laughs) But more often than not, I turn off the television like five minutes after I should have gone to sleep mm. and mm-hmm. try and do those things and lay in the bed. Get those blue lights out of your... Uh, out of your so the, the lack of a screen is a big one for me. Yeah. Um, specifically, uh, it was really nice um, when we moved out of uh, the same house with Hutch. And this nothing with that. We just had one single room. Mm-hmm. We had all of our screens in there yeah. and my computer with three monitors next to us mm. in yeah. our bed. So when we got to our own uh, bedroom with like no screens, that was bliss. Also yeah. being able to like to cover up all of the um, all of the windows with like you know um, thick dark uh, <coughs> curtains are nice. Yeah. But for me, I need a um, I need it to initially be kind of cool feeling. Mm. If it's if it's hot, I'm never going to sleep. Yeah. I'm, so I'm much the same, but we're sweaty people. I uh, exactly. <laughs> um, when, if I don't go to sleep within an hour, I have to get up and let the bed re cool down mm, wow. because my body temperature will heat it. You've up. got that hot meat. Huh. So mm-hmm. otherwise, like if it gets hot again, I'm like, well, time to get up and try again. <laughs> Give it a half hour so the bed can cool back down. <laughs> Let's do a mulligan <clears throat> on sleeping tonight. <laughs> I will say that me and Brittany have a thing where we will uh, take illegal naps. Illegal naps? Illegal naps. Illegal naps. Oh, I are, haven't taken one in a long time. Me neither. We both haven't done this in a while, but we used to do this a lot. Illegal naps are on the couch mm. with uh, a full like blanket and a couple pillows. And, and you shoot a cop in the middle of it? <laughs> I mean, yes. it's just a nap that we didn't plan for and oh, you shouldn't okay. be having. And you shouldn't because... be having it. Or you're having it like, why are you sleeping on the couch? Like, go mm. lay on the bed. It's like, no, it feels good to like lay on the couch. I don't. I'm not much of a napper. 
Yeah. Like, and I, I you think. You shouldn't be. It's bad. It ruins your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, because, like, when I do nap, it's never, like, an hour. It's always, like, four hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. Or so. you just fell asleep. Yeah. And you wake up the next morning still on the couch, weirdly <laughs> sore, kind of contorted in a yep. weird way, and your hip hurts for some fucking reason. <laughs> yeah. I used to catch you in illegal naps all the time. Yeah. You're, this this couch right here is. That no one can see. No one can see. <laughs> it's, it's intentionally it's, hit it in an area where no one would know there's a couch right yeah. next to our table. It's a secret couch. <laughs> and well, an illegal like, nap I'll, couch. I lean on it, so I wonder how weird that looks. I, it's, it's, I hate sitting in it. Um, but I love napping in it. It's, it's a good nap. So couch. good for napping. It's deep. That's why. It's it's it's, it's deep. deep. <laughs> well, it's deep and, and it's long. So it, like, I don't have to like contort like you know like scrunch up like I can lay the whole thing and like be comfortable. I do. <laughs> I have to scrunch, scrunch up on ninety five percent of oh, couches that yeah, I try yeah, and yeah, take yeah. naps mm. on. So yeah. my routine at night is to wash my face, get all the makeup off. Mm. Um. I try to get myself, like, whatever my bedtime is, I try to get into bed an hour before uh, <clears throat> that actual time is, because yeah. I like to look at memes before I fall asleep. My, my go, lady friend also yeah, does I that. I just go to, like, different shit posting, like, pages and groups and just look mm. through all the stuff. And um, and then... You can um, just meme yourself to <clears throat> sleep. Yes, pretty She's much. been doing that for about two years now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I just save all the memes. Do you ever have dreams about salty memes? Mm-mm. Mm. Nope. Maybe you do and you don't remember them. Maybe I do and I don't remember them. No, Brittany has a lot of dreams that she remembers. It's usually me being an asshole. Yeah, there's a lot of dreams for Brian's I don't jerk. know why, I wonder why. Subconscious <laughs> me is way worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> like, but when it's finally time to go to bed, I need my weighted blanket. Um, mm. I know there's a joke about like people who have weighted blankets will let you know they have one, but... It's, I guess it's true. I have one. This is all just <laughs> I mean, a vector for you to talk about your weighted blanket. Yeah, yes. pretty much. What's the weight on it? What are you working with? Like it's a nine iron? 25 pounds. Mm, wow. Yeah, maybe it's 25 pounds. Is it time to upgrade because you're getting too strong maybe. for it? Maybe. <laughs> so when I first got the weighted blanket, it like it was super heavy. Like I could barely carry it around. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not like I could lift 25 pounds, but I guess because it's just this huge, it's a mush. massive, like, it's just weird. I don't know. It's um, like carrying 25 pounds of Play-Doh. Is it yeah. evenly distributed 25 pounds? No. Or, no. Yeah. It's It's got like bamboo chips in it. <clears throat> Is what is the so we got one that's spo- the reason we got the one we got is because I was uh, supposed to also be a, using this uh this blanket mm. and there, I wanted to get one that wasn't going to make me sweat like crazy mm. so we have like one it's that's a, like, wanted it's it to kick, cool it was yeah, like a, a breathable one, one. Mm. um. And uh, it's really nice, to be honest. I just don't like using it. But I like to wrap myself up in it like a burrito. Uh, and I have to have three pillows to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. And I sleep on my side slash stomach. I'm a side slash back, uh, one pillow, and uh, heavy blankets. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I have a, a large heavy comforter mm-hmm. that, like, we use. But I'm I'm getting weighted blanket curious. Um, you should go over there and just try, like, lay under ours. Just okay. try it out. Yeah, we can tuck you in. Ooh. <laughs> I actually tuck in Brittany a lot. Yeah, oh. yeah that's, like, so, one of the things he has to do. That's his nightly do you duty. Do story as well? <laughs> I, t- I try to get him to tell me a story. It's but usually about, he's a about man, those fucking it's, it's chainsaw about a, fingers. Yeah, it's a man with chainsaw fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, we've been doing that for like what nine years now, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I've got um, my very first apartment. It's a Joe- really bad kids book. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. My very first apartment with Joe Borowski. I got into um, astronomy, mm. and I was just really into it. And Ast- astronomy, astronomy, not, astro- not astrology. <laughs> I had to say, I okay, had to yeah, think. I it's still just a such a too. fucking Brian thing to get into, <laughs> right? Like very briefly. Oh, I got a telescope. Now I'm really into astronomy, <laughs> which is exactly what happened. Yes. I bought him a telescope for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I started watching uh, the original Cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> on uh on Netflix because yeah. Netflix was brand newish around yeah. that point. And I realized I was falling asleep on the couch every time I attempted to watch an episode. Yeah. And I was just determined I'm gonna watch this series. So but now I have every episode downloaded on my phone and that is how I go to sleep yeah. now. It turns off my brain. 
which is the hardest thing about going to sleep for me yeah. right now. And it's the, like the best part is that like his phone is on the other side of us. I've never seen a single episode, but I have <laughs> all of them. Like I have the audio memorized on every single. Oh, episode. is this episode four? Yeah, huh. <laughs> Brittany yeah. absolutely knows when I'm starting the pie episode yeah. because it's like the one that starts scary, and then yes. sometimes she'll be like, "Can you play the alien one?" And there's ones like where it starts really creepy. And it's My like episode one twelve. Is the crab one though. Oh yeah, that's uh, about the, the crabs who have samurais on their faces or on their backs. Yeah, it looks, it looks like a little. It's samurai. episode two. It's about evolution. Yeah, giant mm-hmm. enemy crab. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's a, it's the same crab that they're talking about in that video game. That's well, I can see that it's it's like good white noise. Also, mm-hmm. you're an ASMR. I am. Yes. I am. <laughs> so, like. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know Carl, how to accept that. <laughs> Carl Sagan's voice is pretty ASMR. Yeah. Well, pretty much all of the uh, PBS like yeah. uh, narrators are all like where most of the people who got into ASMR were like, oh, I first thought about this when I was watching an episode of Bob Ross mm. or like Reading Rainbow or like Mr. Rogers. All of those really calm, uh, monotone voices are really great to go to sleep to. And for me, Carl Sagan was a subject matter I could go along with, too. Yeah. Bob Ross works for, for me, too. Mr. Rogers is a little too dumb. I have a really important question <laughs> that just popped into my head. Okay. Do you think the crossover episode of Bob Ross painting show and Bob's burgers would be about painting burgers or cooking burgers? Well, obviously, oh. uh, it would be about... Uh, I think it would be about painting burgers. Mm-hmm. But with mustard and ketchup, yes, mm. <laughs> that's yeah. a really good answer. I'm, 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 I'm glad you finished where that was going. That's good. Yep. That's that's a good thought. That's, that's a good. You have kind of to use food for the painting. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, and then it would be edible. Oh, uh, I um have really bad habits. I um I basically do all my Snapchat and Instagram binging like in bed. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm. Um, but I, you know, it, it doesn't usually affect my quality of sleep Such i don't think cool it does hip teen yes <laughs> For me, i'm going to bed i don't look at memes i just snapchat and tiktok <sighs> i downloaded tiktok this week why i don't know <laughs> i'm worried about TikTok's, you well the tiktok's like the next evolution of vine no except- it's not it's vine but bad <laughs> well yeah i mean oh this is this it, oh no it depends on what you find this, this feels okay. like another topic for tune in next week <laughs> For TikTok uh, versus Vine. TikTok versus Vine. Okay. Um, anyway, so... I will be the champion for my lady friend. I feel like okay. we should bring her in just for okay, that. Okay, yeah. Great. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now you I... completely disrupted Hutch's, like, answer here. I don't sleep at all. I stay up all night until 4 a.m. And then I go to work at 9. I don't sleep. It's true. This that, man needs your help. <laughs> no, it ain't now to put to sleep. For just the, co- the cost of a two liter of Mountain Dew every day, you can buy Hutch a two liter of Mountain Dew every day <laughs> so that he doesn't have to sleep. That's right. You just stay oh, up God. all the time. Yeah, I've had some real bad like insomniac hours. But when I do have good sleep, it usually just you know I don't have to do anything special. I make sure my bed's elevated, you know, so that I don't. You got get... that triangle pillow now, right? No, well, no, I got the motorized bed thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh. Yeah, I forgot so, about so, that. So now I don't. So you like, sleep at a slight angle. I sleep uh, some slight or maybe like a more like crazy angle. Depends on how bad it is. Like oh, okay, um, and you find that e- it easier to get to sleep like that. It doesn't give me acid reflux. Oh okay. Um, that shit reminds me of hospital beds and fucking hate it i i don't love it i would much rather like sleep you know on my back or i used to be on my side but now i just mm. you know I, I i just do it at a slight elevation yeah you know and make sure i don't like wake up in the middle of the night like last night and feel bad so mm. uh anyway I, so, so i remember you used to when you didn't have that bed you would go into the living room a lot and you would like lay on the recliner and whatnot. Yep. Mm. which to be fair that recliner is extremely comfortable to sleep in it's, i've done it, it yeah. a few times yeah. it claims every it. person who sits in it i don't know what it is about it it's a very comfortable it's not even the really most nice. like comfortable like cushiony thing i've ever been on like it just like i don't know it, it, it just the beckons right, you the right the sleep calls yeah. to you yeah. it does to go back to carl sagan <laughs> No. My favorite is if I end up like 
watching like one of the later episodes it's always like a really like kind of demeaning uh like uh tone he's like if we don't destroy ourselves <laughs> we we could live in a harmonious <laughs> like culture or That's some a shit. Pretty big real if, talk yeah. and like well at the time they're talking about like it was during the cold war yeah so like i get it like time period wise but, still but like now. almost every episode he's just like if we don't destroy ourselves <laughs> and i'm just like yeah and he has a whole episode devoted to it uh where he's just like we were hit by a meteor and it was very similar to a atomic bomb mm. <laughs> what if what if a meteor yeah. hit us and we thought it was a bomb and then all the bombs go yeah, off. Yeah, that's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, thanks, Carl. <laughs> and that's like a whole episode. And, and that really helps you get to sleep, yeah. huh? You know, usually I don't get to that point. <laughs> I mean, I crave death, so. Yeah. <laughs> so you're awake just in the, long enough to hear yeah. the uh, the badness. Yeah. So, so like I, don't, I, instantly only, out. <laughs> I only ever hear like the first three to five minutes. It's gotten to the point Which where like... Which is just like, wholesome and gets you. Yeah. You know, like, sometimes I'll hear the music of the beginning of yeah. the show and i will not make mm. it to the end of the intro music yeah i used to use like rain sounds as the white noise mm. for that's me. a big one for me and like, then we moved to ocean sounds mm -hmm. and kind of weirdly symmetrical we've yep. started doing um like weird atmospheric space music okay um i like it like light synth kind of just mm. like Feels like you're floating through space. So we get a little That's bit great. of that. Whenever we go to MAGFest, we stay with uh, Matt, Papa, and Jess. Uh, and they... Matthew do, Pops. Yeah, Matthew Father. Matthew Father. <laughs> Matt, Matt Papa full, and Jess full, Mama. Say his full name. Uh, right. <laughs> and they listen to that stuff. Yeah. And so I'll still do the Carl you, Sagan you stuff. You get like a weird noise it. crash. <laughs> and no, it's great because his stuff kind of blends in with their stuff. <laughs> I, I do it just light enough to where mm. I hope only I can hear it. You're basically a DJ at this point. Yeah, yeah. that's right. A sleep I'm a DJ. DJ. That means I can get up in the middle of the night and just like fucking rave <laughs> beside the bed <laughs> with like some glow sticks. <laughs> this is too much. I can't get to sleep. Got to dance. The only problem I have is when I like accidentally fall asleep to something I didn't intend to fall asleep to. <laughs> so the other day I fell asleep to like last week tonight talking about the coronavirus yeah so it went to some like other political videos and it was just like and you woke up in a nightmare world <laughs> yes and it was just like people screaming and i was just like ah <laughs> so now brian's alt-right because <laughs> yeah <laughs> eventually He's all listening. of those videos lead you to that place yeah, honestly i'm pretty yeah. sure i fell asleep to uh, some youtube videos before and eventually woke up to a spoiler to like another game <laughs> oh, that they wow. were see. i was like oh, no wow. no 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, spoilers, this episode's over. Oh, Bye. Want to see us perform live? Use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our St. Patrick's Day episode. Woo! Woo! Yay! So I want to make another... Let's get those snakes out of Ireland! <laughs> <laughs> I want to make another segment. Uh, it's called inappropriate drinking. Mm. Uh, it's where we just have drinks that are super inappropriate. Um, and what whoa. drink is this, Brittany? This one is called the Paul Walker. And why is it called the Paul Walker? <laughs> because because we just love Paul Walker so we much. Just love Paul Walker. No, <laughs> no. Um, so incorporating with St. Patrick's Day, um, it's an Irish car bomb. Followed by a shot of fireball. <laughs> that is the <laughs> Paul Walker. Fucking monster. <laughs> that is awful. You. <laughs> Yeah. Shit heel. So my intention is to like let's f let's find tragedies and then make drinks after them. <laughs> That's inappropriate drinking. That's our new segment, and this is this first one we're celebrating um, St. Patrick's Day with. So. so we also have shot glasses, and Jairus before the episode was like, we should find meaning for why we are picking the shot glasses for each uh, part of the drink that we are. Yeah. And for me, I'm going to say um, be, uh, the E-Tank because Paul Walker was full of life and the Brittany skull because he's dead. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got Sonic. Sonic is because, you know, got to go fast, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, he lived by a quarter mi uh, mile at a time. Yep. Uh, Eggman, uh, because, I mean... I I mean, I I would assume that he was a fan of eggs in the morning, in the evening. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I have a unicorn because Paul Walker is magical and lives inside of us forever. 
Uh, and then I have the <laughs> MES Mariachi Entertainment System because I bet that motherfucker loves some mariachi music. I have a heart because Paul Walker is always in our heart. And I have a squidipus because Paul Walker's touched all of our lives, much like the tentacles in this <laughs> shot glass. So for anyone who doesn't know, Brian, do you want to explain what an Irish car bomb is? So it's uh, apparently I fucked it up. <laughs> Classic on us. Brand. So, but what it's uh, what we are doing today is we are um, putting a shot of Bailey's Irish cream into uh, some Guinness over here and then chugging both of them and then following that with another shot of Fireball. Um, Wasn't it supposed to have... It was supposed to have uh, like Jameson whiskey in with the yeah. Bailey's. Whoops. Oh, I, I assumed so it wouldn't curdle. No, it's going to curdle even so with the whiskey. So is it just the thing that you, you have to drink it before, before it curdles? It curdles. <laughs> yeah. What this kind is, of terrible drink is this? <laughs> it's really similar so to it's the... Like, so uh, it's like, you know what? Let's put these two things together that don't go together and then just chug it before. I'm a little worried about chugging this. Yeah, we're not. Well, you should. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Like, otherwise it's going to get really thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. really disgusting. So, also, uh, when I went to the store today to buy Guinness, I couldn't, I did not recognize the the uh, the can. And I thought, I was like, am I buying, like, an off-brand, like, a weird, like... Guinness. Weird Guinness. <laughs> I bought Genesee cream ale. Genesee. <laughs> but apparently they just have a toucan on their can right now. Yeah. It's which the, is cool. It's the old logo promotional materials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's neat. Well, you know what? It's a collectible can. Do I, do I need more beer in here? I think you're fine. If you want. I, I don't. But okay. okay. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> well, you know what? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy so, St. Patrick's cheers. Day. The, the way to do this appropriately is to take the shot glass. So, no, no. Go high with the beer cheers. Okay. Go low with the shot glass cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. So it's a double cheers. Okay. And then you take it. That's you want to take... Cool the shot glass by the top mm. and hold it and then drop it in. Oh, no, I can't. <sighs> Take your shots of fireball. Oh. <laughs> You're not done. <laughs> <clears throat> Woo. I like... The Irish car bomb as a drink. I think it's delicious and very pleasant. The shot of fireball the city, at the end of it. The sim in the back of the throat really made it, gives made the, it the, the tingle. Yeah. I loved it. No. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm ready to do another. Oh, my God. And we can see what happens if you don't drink it quickly. It's fine. I'll just sip it. God, don't do that to yourself. We have, like, way uh, more to record. Uh, yeah. Um. So yeah, it's I, fine. I'm actually yeah. surprised how much I like that. Mm. I usually hate like those. Like, That's got shooting. everything that you hate in it. It yeah. wasn't that bad. I, I just mm. I'm not good at chugging. Like, I can't even chug water. Like yeah. I don't know what my problem is. I just can't chug things. Um, my belly is. I gotta fire my belly. <laughs> is the anime that I'm watching but, says a lot. Uh, we could <laughs> we could continue with. Um, a shoe, Bailey's in a shoe. <laughs> you know, I do really enjoy Bailey's. It's the closest to white. <laughs> uh, like I was really mm. excited for this because then I got more Bailey's in the house, and mm. I, I love. We pretty much just destroyed too. that bottle. Though, yeah, yeah. Mean? Well, that's okay. Dude, you should have gotten a handle. Well, I wanted to get the on brand <laughs> one that actually Bailey's old mustache. <laughs> so it's great to me. <laughs> So I I wanted to get to on brand yeah. Bailey's and <laughs> so I can we get a so zoom in enhance is on my Brian? <laughs> Curdled mustache is my band name. <laughs> Curdled mustache in the living room with a bad shot. <laughs> so this is uh, this is my legacy. <laughs> We made it. It's like a milk mustache, but sad. <laughs> well, that also sounds like a band name. Mm. <laughs> milk mustache, but sad. I don't think that's going to make you grow strong, healthy bones. <laughs> <laughs> but usually I get off brand Bailey's at a much Irish larger scale. Brand cream. Mm -hmm. Irish yeah. brand cream. It's all about cream. the same. It's Yeah, it's really yeah. the same. So I got the on brand ones at smaller, cheaper. 
air, uh, sizes. <laughs> Some great. Smaller, cheaper, faster, stronger. <laughs> it's my favorite Daft Punk Daft song. Punk took a weird turn. Yeah. <laughs> After that, Tron money dried up. I mean, yeah, yeah. So um, I think we should uh, finish this up by talking about some of our favorite uh, St. Patrick's Day memories. Do you got any? any? I don't don't really. You say. I don't ever really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. My favorite St. Patrick's Day memory is at the end of Fast and the Furious (laughs) Seven, where Vin Diesel is driving away. And he thinks he's all alone. You, and he friend. looks out the window and he sees rotoscope <laughs> Paul Walker, rest in peace, drive up. Again. And then they race together. <laughs> Great. And Paul Walker slowly pulls off. So I'm really fucking excited. <laughs> <for me. laughs> oh my God. That was beautiful. That was a good mm. memory. I don't think I could top that. I mean, no, no, but none of us can, oh. except Paul Walker himself. I was so fucking impressed with how that film franchise handled his death. They did way better than they've done yeah. the rest of the franchise. I think you're a heathen and a liar. I, lo- I mean, mm. I love holy the shit. franchise. Don't give you're me wrong. You're dropping some hot takes for this family. You got a little fighting juice in them. I'm canceling yeah, our like... reservations at Olive Garden <laughs> Wait, for Fast and the Furious 9. I think you need this hat more than I do right holy now. Shit. I love the Fast and Furious franchise. Franchise, but they handle oh. that way more sincerely than like yeah. most things oh, deserve. Sorry, I can't deal with you and your girl. And they haven't, <laughs> I have to look away. <laughs> and they haven't handled the rest of the series nearly sincerely, which is what I love about Fast and yeah. Furious franchise. All I'm saying is that that was an actual sincere, heartfelt moment, yeah. and the rest of the movie has been like testosterone city since. Yeah. You, you just want every movie to end with a barbecue at <laughs> Vin Diesel's house. That's what I'm getting from you. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the best. <laughs> I want to live in that. <laughs> we should see if Binging with Babish has any of those. This just has a backyard barbecue? No, it has like a the barbecue chicken from Fast and the Furious. Oh, man. I Ooh. bet he does we have that. We can email him. Oh. I'm going to email him. request yeah. it. Dom's Duncan barbecue chicken. <laughs> I would, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. The only problem is, is that then we'd have to all drink it with a Corona beer, and no one mm. wants to do that oh, right no. now. Oh, yeah. I want to make a t-shirt that says less virus, more Corona. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, actually. I could maybe whip that up into a really fast cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah, let's see if you can make a patch for that. That'd be good. Yeah. I got to get that fucking machine working again. Yeah, Brad broke yeah, the needle. You, broke, you ate the needle. <laughs> I did. It's, it's, it's just right an Amazon order already to fix it, yeah, right? I it's not have... even Amazon. We can get that from like Michael's. Well, I went to the store and they were out, but now I gotta go back and try again. It's, it's been a few days. Mm. Without well, you, my friend, let's tell you all about it. I'm gonna see you again. Oh, there's still something in there. We just need oh. beer to wash wash the <laughs> fireball taste out of my mouth. I just I really enjoyed the fireball. Looked at the can. This is a pretty cool can. Right? I know you were talking about it, but I didn't actually see it. Get the pelican. Our Don't legendary can. Guinness Drought Stout in a collectible can celebrating the famed the Guinness the campaigns of the 1930s cans. and 50s. Fuck the 40s. That's my favorite. Um, yeah, why does it say 30s and 50s? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, maybe they weren't making it during World War II. Oh, because, was it no, because, because of it's prohibition? A Guinness, no, it's a Guinness campaign, as in a marketing campaign. Oh, I see. Oh, they yeah, did it in the right. 30s and 50s. I guess business was booming in the 40s. They didn't have to do anything. Right, you're right. <laughs> well, it was, it was the wartime. Everybody just needed ration beer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think they rationed them. Everyone's beer just came in a you know, nondescript can that just said beer. Mm. Mm. Government I, beer. I bet that uh, that sounds the, that's the worst thing about the government I've ever heard. <laughs> Government beer? Yeah, government beer. I would hate Which to have would like, you government rather have? That's government the worst thing you've ever heard about the government. Brand? Government meal? Government meal. Mule. The band. Oh. I don't God damn it. <laughs> I, it's not like um, a ska band or something. No, it's like a <laughs> Leonard Skinner thing. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, even yeah, worse. Yeah, um, <laughs> now I get it. I went to Mark Wahlberg's Wahlburgers once. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, we did too. With, <laughs> yeah. a with a coworker, just like to try it out. Yeah, and we went and we sat down, and on the menu where it should say American cheese, it just says government cheese. 
and it yucked me out so fucking hard. Yeah, yeah, like I got, I got weirdly like, "What the fuck are you doing, Mark Wahlberg?" And then my coworker looked at me and said, "Hey, remember the time Mark Wahlberg blinded a man?" <laughs> what? What? Yeah, apparently he beat like some Asian guy really badly out of like some sort of weird xenophobic shit was this like during his marky mark days that's what i, I don't think know so let's put a I link mem- up i remember he had some shit going <laughs> on in the 90s hey, link and- it all. okay google <laughs> hey google this oh, is the part she's of the- responding <laughs> it's part of uh, the podcast where we just yell hey google <laughs> <laughs> we're triggering all your uh, smart devices <laughs> Oh, hey man. Google, when did Marky Mark blind somebody? According to Wikipedia, Wahlberg believed he had left the second victim permanently blind in one eye, though Trin stated that he had lost his eye years prior in the Vietnam War. Okay, what? So he didn't blind someone. <laughs> no, in August 1992, Wahlberg fractured the jaw of a neighbor in an unprovoked attack. Okay, yeah. I'm going to the Mark as, Wahlberg Wikipedia. That's where as, I'm at with my life. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the Marky, definitive source the for all, all things Marky Mark. <laughs> yeah. So it was early 90s, it looks like. Wow. Well, that's too bad the Funky Bunch wasn't there to stop him. Yeah. Actually, I think they would have made it worse. Charged with attempted murder and pled guilty to felony assault. Two years in jail, only served 45 days of the sentence. Uh, made numerous unsolicited racial remarks. Damn. Oh, about and I slant-eyed. his burger. <sighs> you, you know, no, sure no, no, no. This really <laughs> Hold on. Don't think about it as Going Mark's burger. Think the... about it as Donnie's burger. Oh, I mean, oh. I'm sure Donnie is a really good guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Google. Wow. What fucked up shit has Donnie Wahlberg done? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a Here search. Some results from the web. <laughs> he got a divorce. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a sin against God and man. All relationships should be correct the first time. <laughs> Although I did just find uh, a website called fact.directory uh, that, <laughs> that has 76. <laughs> That's a hell of a top level domain. <laughs> the 76 most interesting Wahlberg facts. <laughs> That sounds like another episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we got some some extra segments out of oh, this one, man. man. Let me tell well, you. Well, that was the Paul Walker drink. All uh, right, well. Join us uh, next time uh, for the Titanic. That's next month. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Gosling gained 60 pounds for a role in Peter Jackson's The Lovely Bones by drinking melted haagen ice cream when he was thirsty. He was what? fired days before p- production began and was replaced with Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> that fact is on this page twice. <laughs> they really want you to know that one. Oh. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's last song with the Funky Bunch was the song "I Want You," featured on the Super Mario Bros. film soundtrack. Whoa. <laughs> I can't wait to explore that <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Brian's gone. You got the social medias? We got the social medias. You got the Facebooks? We got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters? We got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams? We don't really use that one too much, but, you know, we're on there, too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Let's talk about pizza! Pizza in the pizza! morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. If you we can't pe- tell, we took a break and ordered pizza. <laughs> so um, <laughs> what happened is Hutch had a completely different topic, and then we were drunk after the last segment. Brian had a beer, and now he's I had a blitzed. beer in two shots, <laughs> and I, I'm so easy. He saw a white claw up close and just oh, like God. got a little frisky. <laughs> I, I want to try that. I don't like seltzer water, though. So because you're not gonna like it. Yeah, <laughs> I think I've tried it before, and I was just the same alcoholic opinion. seltzer it's, water. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I probably won't. Okay. Yeah. I like cream drinks. It's not creamy at all. Cream no. drinks. <laughs> Give me my milk. You, you you just want some more of that uh, George Ocean? <laughs> that, that shit's good. I should I, like I should have brought that. We'll, we'll bring love, it next time. What's I love it called? Right what's ocean. that drink called? <laughs> Coffee, Coffee milk. milk. <laughs> 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 Oh, Ding. Well, yeah, that's yeah. It's back wonderful. when back when Booze Club was Booze Club. 
<laughs> that was great. Yeah, I get. So I gave her uh, Britney shit because she was like, like, ah, oh, I can't imagine anyone actually wanting to drink this again. <laughs> and it's just like we drink it every year. Yeah, we do all drink it all the time now. <laughs> it's yeah, so good. It's not good. <laughs> It is good. I will, I will good, fight everyone like on that. Cof- like the milk punch or like the coffee punch was just coffee, milk, and ice. <laughs> okay, that okay, yeah, we'll coffee, see. Liqueur, coffee, milk, milk and punch, ice. the drink wasn't very good, but just George Ocean by itself is a good sip in like... <laughs> <laughs> like George Ocean, good coffee and, for, uh, for poppy and in the morning. Rum, <laughs> I like George Ocean and rum cream. Rum yeah. cream, yeah, yeah rum cream. it's good. God, the rum cream is really good. I got the rum like, cream is like too rum chata. It's kind of like uh, that, except like less works too. I, I, I tried it. Less spice. I think we still have some in the fridge. Not here. Yeah, we do. What? Yeah, we do. What? <laughs> it's behind the water. Well, that's why I haven't seen it and I haven't done anything with it. Sorry, you uh, should clean out the fridge. Well. Brian's <laughs> eyes are allergic to water, like so he how... just looks past Actually, it. I'm the only one that refills that shit. But yeah, we're three minutes in. and what, We're talking about pizza, right? <laughs> uh, pizza. I don't know. I kind of like where we were going. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I mean, we're, we're talking about... So what kind, of, what kind of pizza so is on the way to us right now? Uh, it's a... Uh, a uh, Pineapple and ham- no, it's not. Oh, yeah, uh, we're, that's right. we're getting a um, pepperoni. Um, oh, you're trying to force mozz- this into a pineapple pizza question? Yes. Well, originally I wanted to do that, like uh, uh, pizza combinations. That what people- are your intentions with my podcast, Hutch? <laughs> your podcast. I just want to make you podcast. look good. It's a dad thing, you know. So what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know anymore. Me neither. That's about, you know what? I like. What where are you this drinking, Brittany? Going. How about that? Apple juice. <laughs> Apple juice. Yeah, I'm doing coffee fireball. over here. <laughs> and fireball. Yeah. Just Shit. Stirred it all together. How, Litty, not shitty. How, how is that combination? It's good. It's really good. It doesn't seem like it would go I together. I think that's a much. shot. That's spicy. It's like an apple pie type mm. thing. I'm pretty sure it's a drink. Mm. I what, just made it one. <laughs> everyone, what is your favorite winter drink? Winter drink. Or like alcoholic? Any drink. drink. I don't care. I'm just talking here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me answers. I Give can, me conversation. I cannot uh, wait to make the thumbnail for this segment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my grandma always makes hot buttered rum. When she's hot buttered is that just rum? rum with butter in it? <laughs> I don't know how she makes it. But she's like, whenever you're sick, you should drink some hot buttered rum. <laughs> I don't know. In the in the winter, I'm a big fan of like any sort of like hot drink, like hot cocoa or apple cider that's been spiked. Mm. And eggnog is always good too. So I don't really have a winter drink. I drink summer drinks year round. <laughs> I drink tequila sunrises. It's always or, five o'clock in, or champagne. In How about Bill? that for a winter drink? <laughs> champagne, champagne. <laughs> well, I mean, technically the New Year's does we're not all fancy. I, I mean, hold on. Oh, he's oh, out. And he's out. Brian left the table. <laughs> Brian <everyone>. has left. <laughs> it's been zero days since Brian's left the podcast. <laughs> uh, he, he is. He's got. We are around this table all day, every day, <laughs> and Brian always leaves. We just pee our pants. Brian gets up and walks away. Okay, so what's your favorite pizza and drink combination? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, well, I always end up ordering Mountain Dew. Mm-hmm. Big surprise, right? Um, because you're an extreme teenager. I'm extreme, and I totally ordered some for our order today. Um, you drinking champagne out of mar- margarita glass. <laughs> I didn't want to pull down the like champagne glasses that are plastic. <laughs> oh yeah, because those are fragile. Yeah, that, what? I understand. This, what? <laughs> <laughs> Your sparkle teeny bottle <laughs> Brian, tricked you. Brian opened a cap to discover another cap. <laughs> well, that um, was the champagne we were going to drink when we celebrate our engagement, but <laughs> I guess... <laughs> There's more where that came Brad's from. Brad's digging into it now. <laughs> we forgot, and we went to sleep. <laughs> we came home to watch a goofy movie, and we were like, I am let tired. <laughs> <laughs> what was the goofy movie? It was quite the goof troop. The, the goofy no, like movie. what kind of goofy movie did you watch? No, we were going to watch a goofy movie. Which one, though? The goofy movie. Which goofy movie? The Brian? one with Goofy and Max finding out that they're a terrible family and tr- and doing everything for that mad pussy, yo. <laughs> that that bear pussy. You need help. With She's that. a bear, right? <laughs> you making me nervous. Is she a bear? I don't. I know. don't know. <laughs> Brittany, bring in I'm your right? strong oh, she's hands. A, she's a, she's Solve a, this she's problem. I need to see. And we're gonna find she's, out. They're all dogs. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> they are it's not going dog. to heaven, though. It's a dog universe. <laughs> 
All dogs go to heaven. No, Pete is a cat. Pete is a dog. No, they're both dogs. Let's see, he's a bulldog. Yeah. Okay, then clearly my memory is a little fuzzy. Hutch is shook. Fan, Hutch is like, I gotta edit my fanfiction. My, my whole universe. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to echo Wikipedia and just like screw everyone's world up. Like, no, I'm going to make my reality everyone's reality. <laughs> uh, I watched the Goofy movie, the second one. And an I, extremely good I've never movie? seen the second one before. It, it's, it's on Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. It seems seen like it. it probably wouldn't be great. It wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's like the weird thing. I saw on Netflix, no one else will have the original one, but mm-hmm. the second one, yeah, no, whatever. Because it's, it's always like straight to like home video. Or exactly. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's like there's a lot well, All the Disney stuff on Netflix is like slowly S- dying. Speaking of straight to video, have you guys watched Letter Kenny? Mm. Yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I love Letterkenny. What uh, is that? Jared Kesso, the creator of it, and the yes. guy who plays Wayne, mm-hmm. he was apparently in The Marine 3. <laughs> never even heard of The, the Marine straight, 1. The, straight, the Marine is the a John, John Cena, Cena yeah. movie. Oh. So is Mar- The Marine 2. Mm-hmm. But Jared Kesso is apparently... <laughs> <laughs> replacing John Cena in the Marine 3, a direct to video. So, so I approve of this for one reason. I have two people that I think need to uh, be the new Wolverine in the new Marvel movies. And that guy is one of them. Mm-hmm. I think he he's Canadian. He's he's like tough and gruff and everything that Wolverine should be. He's perfect for him. But I would also like Daniel Radcliffe to can, also play Wolverine. Can, so. can I just say real quick? Because... Um, so have the you guys Marine seen Three Home Front? Have you guys seen Deadpool Two? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So I started watching Deadpool Two, and then I saw the little like thing of Wolverine that he yeah. did, mm-hmm. but I hadn't seen Logan yet. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Well, wow. fuck." fuck. Oh. Well, no, I, 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 I figure that he died in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I was like, "Well, fuck it. I, I need to just watch it." Now. So I, I watched. <laughs> so I watched it. It was really nice, mm-hmm. and. Um, it was it's so, a really emotional movie, it was right? So, it was crazy seeing um, um, uh, Xavier like in the state that he was in, yeah. like, with the dimension, like going crazy. And yeah, stuff. it was do, 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 the do, most X Men. Yeah. it felt like an X Men story, <laughs> right? Where it usually like it's just like regular like a uh, group movie or starring Wolverine movie. And it still was that, but it felt like an X Men story where, like, oh shit, everything is terrible, and we're dealing with it. Are we talking about Logan? Yeah, apparently yeah. we are. Oh, okay, yeah, it's it's a rad movie. It's good to see. I only watched sad, it once. Yeah, I only watched it once too. Patrick Stewart. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> so apparently, The Miz, who is a world wrestling entertainment wrestler, oh, okay. it <laughs> replaced John Cena as the main character. Neil McDonough is the main bad guy, who is just like. The hardest working actor in the world. Mm-hmm. He was the guy who was the army person that Jim Carrey in the Sonic movie oh, gotcha. talks shit to. He's everywhere. Oh, okay. He's everywhere. Uh, Jared Kesso was a character named Harkin, which I would guess is like the level two sub boss or some shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that I love Letter Kenny. I think it, uh, I was not. I was surprised by how much I got into that. Yeah, I'm, I got. I got him into it. I mean, mm. I'm up. I've watched five of the seven seasons so yeah. far. I haven't watched season six or seven yet. I could see it appealing to Brittany because, yeah. like, we both like that kind of language play. Mm-hmm. Um, I was and surprised I'm glad, that I got I'm, into it. I'm yeah. I'm glad that you liked it because I think it's. It, it wasn't just fucking the, funny. The language play was a big part of it for me. It was just tonally, um, the tone for it reminded it. you of your hometown. It reminded no. It reminded me more of just like this bullshit right here. Yeah, <laughs> like where we just make up weird inside jokes and they just build on top of each other, and <laughs> yeah. on top of each other. And I felt like I was like. It was one of those shows where I felt like I was hanging out with friends. Yeah. Which is the most condescending sounding thing ever, but... No, I don't think it is, but, like, you feel like you're a... It's a connection thing. Yeah. You get to feel like you're a part of this thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's also a very difficult thing for any media to do. Yeah, yeah. I always enjoy it when it does happen, though. Yeah. I I just looked up Litterkinney on Wikipedia, Mm -hmm. and it's written by... Um, four people whose first names start with the letter J. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean who's who's the outlier? Trevor. Trevor Risk. Risk. All right. <laughs> the risk was too too great. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. 
Um, I think you would actually like that yeah, show, Yeah, I think Hutch, you'd probably like it. Because especially if you like The Office. Now, I, it's not the same. Is it cr- like no, cringy? No, it's, it's not nowhere cringy. near okay. cringy. Okay, good. Because like The Office- It's I, mostly I, like a dialogue show. It's just like a couple of friends sitting around. Yeah. Uh, and it's just about their everyday lives in this little town. Oh, oh. I can I can dig that because I feel like a lot of Tarantino's movies are yeah, dialogue based yeah, and I really enjoy it. It's, it's like, like that, that but a little, also they get to that for a lot. It was super Wonderful. intriguing because they're all Canadian so they have a lot of weird Canadian slang that I had to get used to where I was like, yeah. what the fuck are they saying? And like, for a while, I had to put subtitles up. And then I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I get what they're saying now. Uh, my favorite thing is I was going out shopping, and I saw someone wearing a Letterkenny uh, uh, jersey. Uh, it was the uh, – what were they? The Clovers, was it? Because they're Irish or some bullshit? I can't remember. Mm. Uh, but it was the uh, the female team. Yeah. It was like – I think they were the Cloverettes or, yeah, Cloverettes that or stupid. some shit. That's what they were complaining about. Anyways, like, he's wearing sense. like their jersey, right? And he mm-hmm. went around and he just all all over the place. He wasn't doing this for me. He wasn't doing this for anyone that I could real I could notice. He was just going picking up things, going fucking embarrassing, and sitting them down. <laughs> and he, I just followed him for a minute, and he just pick up things, go fucking embarrassing yeah that's a person (laughs) you want to get to know and i was just like i just followed this person all the way to the uh especially you yeah (laughs) hey i see you there person living your own life (laughs) existing (laughs) only to amuse yourself yeah i was so proud of this person (laughs) i was just like i didn't want like the problem was it's like the er the overall urge for me was to go like i was behind them in the checkout line too i was like Fucking embarrassing. I wanted to say it. I wanted to say it. I didn't say it. You should have picked one item out of his, like, checkout experience Uh uh and said, like, ugh, apricots? (laughs) Fucking embarrassing. (laughs) But the thing is, is I also just didn't want to, like, taint the situation I was in. You wanted it to be perfect. The thing that you could lock in amber. And I was just like... This was a beautiful moment that I just had for 15 minutes, <laughs> and, I, and then it went away. And I actually, I, I think I came home and I thanked Brittany. I was like, "Thank you for getting me into that show because I would have never, <laughs> I would have never experienced that magical moment." Yeah, honestly, that show was worth it for that. Yeah, it's worth it for a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I talked to a couple people at work about it. Yeah, a lot of people at work watch it. It's really strange to me because <clears throat> I usually don't watch passive entertainment. Yeah. So when I'm actually caught unless up you're on ellipticalizing. Something, it's really strange, yeah. And I'm I'm actually planning on watching the new season of Castlevania that way. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I I can actually talk to people at work because they're always like, "Oh, Brian, you should watch this show." I'm like, "That's never going to happen." Yeah. <laughs> like I'm just usually upfront, like, "No, uh-huh, no." Nah. That's what is terrible. this a women's wrestling show? No, thank you. <laughs> it's always like uh, the one that um, the one the only one that slightly appeals to me that just ended recently is the Good Place. Mm. I still haven't watched it. I've heard good things and Ted Danson's handsome. I I loved Ted Danson. I watched a couple episodes of that and I was like, eh, it's okay. For me, like the only show I'm really interested in that uh, I'm excited about was a show that had Steve Buscemi in it and David Radcliffe. (laughs) And I forgot what it's called, but Steve Buscemi is God and Daniel Radcliffe is an angel. And he's... uh, You said David Radcliffe at first and I was like, I don't know who that is. Sometimes with Brian, he does like (laughs) verbal typos. Yeah. Yeah. And I just have to like stick along for the ride. (laughs) I know I'm explaining how to interact with your boyfriend (laughs) 10 years but it's true listen let a man handle this situation wow you just mansplained the conversation that was the joke that was the joke joke, Ryan I know well Daniel Radcliffe I'm giving this meat pile of bullshit that we just did on the Swayze train. This is a great subject. Thank you. <laughs> the, the, I'm, I'm officially uh, tiling this casual chat with heat. <laughs> anyway. That's good. And, casual Friday. And yes. uh, anyway, Does this come out on a Friday? <laughs> this, is a, Wednesday. Th- Wednesday. this is a Let's Wednesday. Let's move it to a Friday. <laughs> okay. That's, we'll just put the whole episode and the segment out. People won't understand <laughs> why. By the way, pizza's on the way. Awesome. On the way. Perfect. Oh. Maybe we can get the pizza guy in on the podcast. Fresh out the kitchen. <laughs> but no, so the first season was like Steve Pusemi is God and D- Daniel Radcliffe is a, an angel. So who's you trying joked to sell about stuff. getting the pizza person on the podcast. I wonder what would happen if Hutch aimed a microphone at him and said, How do you feel about the allegations against Domino's pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Are, are there allegations? I don't. 
Probably <laughs> somewhere. Well, they're going to ask what yeah. it is. So you got to think of some pizza crimes. <laughs> <laughs> pizza crimes. Oh, no, Dude, all I know about Domino's Pizza is like super nerdy internet shit where they are suing somebody because they're saying that their oh, pizza yeah. website doesn't need to be Americans with Disabilities oh. Act compliant. So that was actually a conversation that we had at work. Yeah. So we made our website. <clears throat> Everyone, because go that. ADA compliant. Go W3C. Uh, yes. Also, Ally, Ally, uh, A L L I Y. Uh, I compliance love is a really good thing to do. I love spelling. Uh, have meta information, image alt information, use procedural H tags, and just do reasonable shit on the internet. This is really weird going back from like champagne to coffee back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would think so. <laughs> We uh, when, it, when I was in college, we got our uh, pizza guy to do a keg stand with us. Nice. Mm. I'm sure the pizza person who comes to the door, if it's our usual delivery person, is just wants to get out of here. <laughs> It'll as fast just as be a heavy <laughs> sigh. He sees Frank in the background. Oh, he's one of these motherfuckers again. <laughs> he is always just like, "What the fuck is going on in this living room?" Because yeah. it's always a different configuration every time he comes here. Okay. And also, you're just like barking like a banshee and flapping your arms. I'm 100. Yeah. percent certain that they I, think that survive. we just do porn in here with like, like yeah, he, he's looking for the gal in the loop <laughs> yeah. the curtains are definitely like We're, throwing people off yeah. where's the barrel <laughs> perfect the fuck barrel we're doing great <laughs> that, fuck sounds barrel like a, that sounds like a new genre Fuck barrel dot business. Don't, don't steal. Are you giving the barrel to business? Or is the barrel giving us Original the business? Original website. <laughs> it's a business that sells fuck barrels. Okay. okay. <laughs> Got it. Oh, did you see well, how much money people on OnlyFans are making this this week? Yeah. So OnlyFans was trending it on was Twitter. Only one person. Who no, made no, that much a money. lot of people posted this. Now the one person I told you about was like the naked philanthropist or whatever. Mm-hmm. She made like a quarter million dollars what? in February. Oh, she, <laughs> I she, told you about this person. A person that raised money for like all oh, the yeah. Yeah. Alaska, uh, yeah, uh, in Australia. Yeah. Alaska is the same as Australia. So. Exactly. The, the a- a- I mean, mean you can see them from the porch of your house in Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I mean, good for like, them. Good for good for them. Show me them titties and make that money. <laughs> they did a very good marketing thing by raising money for Australia being on fire. But here's the thing: OnlyFans was trending on Twitter, and at first it was kind of like a really great meme joke. Yeah. But all these girls and some men started posting their money and their livelihood based yeah. on OnlyFans. And like, there's this one person who yeah, has Patreon sucks. Yeah, compared to oh, does it? Yeah. Follow us on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patreon sucks for porn people. Patreon sucks for a lot of things. Yeah, like if you have anything that we should start an OnlyFans. Is that what you're telling me? Fuck it, let's do let's it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get some new wardrobe. Well, so, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to be a leather daddy hutch? Yes, I'm so excited. Patreon and has terrified. weird shit. I'm, I'm the power. Where, I wish I'm the power bottom. So. Like a lot of their systems can be easily subverted or like manipulated like and Santa. shit like that. That's weird. I'm sorry. That, I'm not that bottom. No, that's fine. That is a power bottom. I just had to get my daddy. words out. <laughs> Wow. I'm so happy right now. I love it. I love all of it. <laughs> I really hope that you guys watch the last episode and then watch this one. Yeah. Yeah, no, know. I hope they watched it out of this context. This one just really is. <laughs> it's fucking magical. All right. Well, bye. 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 Pizza's up next. Congratulations. 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 I'm stopping this at bye, so don't even bother. <laughs> no. You're going to forget to do it. And We're I'm talking to you, it. though. Congratulations. Uh, you can... finished editing the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. No, I haven't. I got a segment to go. Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. All right, y'all ready for this? I think we are. Okay. Uh, hey, welcome to the final segment of Heat Wave. Uh, we're going to talk about Animal Crossing. We're going to talk about Doom Eternal because they both come out tomorrow. Also, we're going to do it while we eat this pizza that has cheese bites on the crust instead of stuffed crust it's like cheese nuggets cheese nuggets nuggets yeah and it looks like they're haphazardly just like dropped on it it's a bizarre thing so oh. it's kind of like a weird food club yeah and i don't know we have the marinara 
Yeah. But I did not. We got the marinara for our side of the table. And we got Owen over here for me and you. Mm. So I wanted to talk about um, mm. Animal Crossing and Doom Eternal. They're both coming out tomorrow, and I'm fucking thrilled for both. The cheese bites are good. Uh-huh. I wish they weren't mushy on the underside. Mm-hmm. Ooh, creepy. Because... <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and let me try that the pizza. <laughs> Just give up. He totally forgot about Animal Crossing. <laughs> mm. Peaches, pizza. So is uh, Doom Eternal like a Temple Run style game where you just doom forever? Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, in a way, they've all been kind of linear. But no, I. Uh... No, it actually looks really good. So this time, hell is on Earth instead of Mars. Hmm. So, yeah, they got to go fight all the same old monsters, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. But it looks really good, actually, so I might play this one. Mm. I'd like to flip back and forth between Doom and Animal Crossing. I think that would be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing has been the memes coming from it, where, like, Isabelle's dressed up in a Doom, like, Doom Guy outfit. Yeah. And, like, Doom Guy's gone fishing. Mm-hmm. I like the ones where, like, um, Doom Guy's teaching Isabel how to shoot a gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's been pretty great. Mm. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been better for that. The only Animal Crossing that's allowed in my house is Stardew Valley. Oh, okay. Mm. Is there a reason why? Because no. I have a feeling that Steph is going to jump on the Animal Crossing oh, yeah. bandwagon. Sure. We actually... So I bought an Animal Crossing Switch, oh, which gonna, is my second I'm Switch. I'm going to grab something really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> wow. Brittany wow. Leaves leaves the the episode, table. everyone left. Except for Jairus. Jairus has been silently st- sturdy. Look at him. Uh, but yeah, so I'm buying a second mm. Switch, actually. And uh, my old Switch is now going to be an always online Animal Crossing town. And then Brittany and I actually got these from PAX so, East. Yeah, we didn't go. I wanted to show these off. Um, nice. We convinced a stranger to go to the Nintendo booth for us. And we sent him our... Nintendo, my Nintendo codes, and he got these Isabel pins for us for free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this sweet ass Isabel pin we got. Mm. We got two of them, one for me and one for Brittany. Yep. But my favorite thing is, is our friends uh, Matt, <clears throat> Papa, and Tron got me one as well. Mm-hmm. Matt they, Father, Matthew Father, <laughs> and he handed it to uh, our boss Douglas. Mm-hmm. And Doug couldn't. He couldn't get one. He didn't have the time to get one. And he was sad when he handed it to me. And he was just like, oh, I couldn't get one. And I was just like, I've got more coming. You can hold on to that one. <laughs> so that was that was nice. So, yeah. If then the, Brian got a raise. Uh, God, I wish. <laughs> I wish that's all it took to get a raise. But, um. I don't know. like these. Yeah, I don't either. I don't like the soggy bottoms. Hey. These are some soggy bottom boys, and they so, ain't got a hit single at all. What I thought these were going to be were like um garlic like knots, like yeah, like the big the like end. knots. That and I've gotten those me. before, yeah, and they were just fine. Uh, yeah, I didn't know this was going <laughs> to be fine. that. Yeah. <laughs> the pizza is good as usual, but I would oh, have much rather. Good. I would have much rather had like stuffed crust pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? We tried one of Pizza Hut's weird bullshit. We should talk about the weird, like, concoctions that fucking all these places do, like, all randomly. Pizza's yeah. really egregious with this, because they had, like, a cheese. its like... Yeah, I still didn't. Yeah, so, they, are they still they doing still that? They still do that? I don't know. I would think that probably. Because we should have got that if we didn't. <laughs> like, that would have been... So, could you explain this to me? It's like a big-ass cheese it filled with cheese and pizza. So, like, it's like a giant ravioli, but the crust mm-hmm. is cheese it yes. yes. Yep. That's yeah, it looks fucking like, wild. It looks like a cheese. <laughs> yeah. And it's like cheese it branding and everything. I it just try sounds to like picture. Pizza Hut's drunk on power. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, Taco Bell's honestly the uh, the instigator, I feel, for all of this. Well, I, don't, I don't know about Pizza that. Hut and Pizza Hut and Taco Bell are like the same. Taco Bell are all owned by the same people. Oh. And, oh excuse me. Yum Brands. Yeah. And what is that fucking like, um, what was that like? inverted chicken sandwich that kfc um, did double down the double down mm-hmm. so and that was where like all the insides were and in, were inside two pieces of chicken yeah i never ate that but i wanted to i had it twice it was fine taco but, bell had a yeah. thing called the chick star which was a crunch wrap supreme that is a nightmare <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we did a food club with cheese stuffed cheese it's at some point uh, i don't think so 
If we no, did, it was the it was like Doritos to... Locos. That's yeah, what it was. It was Jeez, that was what we started with. Ugh. That was rough. Are we sure we didn't start with the chips? Started with Chip Club. We started with chips. Mm. <laughs> that was where Hutch really found his stride. <laughs> yeah, every time I go to Food Line, I check out the clearance rack and think about what Hutch would buy if he was here with me. <laughs> Not anymore. You learned your I'll, lesson, huh? I'll let well, I'll let you guys take on the um, the mantle of um, <laughs> what chip, weird shit we buy. Chip liaison, I don't mm. know. <laughs> chip liaison. Maybe I'm chip liaison. I work at Lay's. Maybe uh, we should order some chips from like International Chips. Internationalchips.com. dot <laughs> com. Yeah, we should get some. Yeah, some chips from not America. Mm-hmm. Are you an <laughs> international <laughs> viewer? Would you like to send us some chips? Are you googling internationalchips.com? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is my favorite Animal Crossing discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about Animal Crossing, but I don't really have much to say about it that we haven't already said. I won't know until I play it. It I'm comes really out excited. tomorrow. We're I'm going excited. to an Animal Crossing party, too. That's right. We're going to an Animal Crossing party on Saturday. International Chips is a live website. All right. And, Can you um, buy chips from them, though? I don't think so. We have to wear Hawaiian shirts at the party, though. Nice. I don't have a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, no. (laughs) You're not invited to the party. (laughs) Producing abrasive plastic media for surfaces mass treatment. What? Polyurethane (laughs) abrasive wheels for metal finishing. Diamond sectors and wheels in resin for finishing and squaring ceramic tiles. This this doesn't sound tasty at all. Mm-hmm. It's not food. <laughs> Is chips like an acronym for something? I guess. Mm. What, what does the chips mean on the show? Mm. The show chips. That's right. Uh, what? Uh, at least internationally, they're called crisp. Show <laughs> chips. There's a show named Chips. It's like oh, a, yeah. It's like a cop the cops, show. The cop yeah. show. Isn't the that guy just from like short shorts? 2021? Mm-hmm. I just, all I know about chips is short shorts. Yeah, they wore short shorts because it was the 70s. Yeah. That's literally all I know about and it. That's yeah. what you wore in the 70s. Me didn't, too. <laughs> didn't Caleb wear short shorts when he was a cop at the last Halloween party? Yeah, because he was Officer Hot Body. Oh, that was yeah. the name of his costume. <laughs> it was pretty It was sexy. either Caleb or it was Tanner. It was no, one or the other. <laughs> no, Tanner was one that was... Um, was Tanner wearing his poncho? He was wearing his poncho and he had like all the balloons in his pants. That's, oh, that's yeah. not so much a Halloween costume for our dear friend Tanner as it is a lifestyle choice. No, he called it something, though. It I really it was. is a lifestyle choice. Like, we were with him, and he bought this shirt with balloons on it. And he was, it was like a sweater. It was like an ugly Christmas sweater, but it had balloons over it. And he was like, oh, my God, I'm going to wear this with my balloon pants. <laughs> and his balloon pants is where he takes these, like, big, like, I don't know what they're called. They're like elastic They're like pants, elastic yoga basically. pants. I mean, he can stuff like twenty balloons into it and walk around, and it's just—I don't know. It's just what that he was does. great. Mag, he had mag labs, I think, right? That's yeah. just who he is as a person, That's, though. He loves to do that at cons and get in the elevator with people and like <laughs> whip his ass around, and it's just like all balloon ass to like touch. He'll strangers. also like <laughs> shift the balloons around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, which think is we- strangely unsettling. <laughs> we should try and find a video. Of- yeah. I'm sure there oh, is. Oh, I have one. a video. Okay, yeah, send it I to me. I have a video. Mm. Yeah. Editing fun. <laughs> mm. yeah, Creating work for Brian. So fucking Doom and Animal Crossing, yeah, huh? Yeah, sure. This, 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 I didn't even put a timer on. You didn't on. even put no, the fucking timer on, you <laughs> dick bat. I, like, we can just finish Is this it. the camera even recording us right now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Bye! <laughs> hey, we'll s- come play Animal Crossing with me. Come be a part of our town. That's all I wanted to say. Won't you Bye. be my neighbor? We're sorry. I'm going to try and beat <laughs> I'm Death not Stranding. Sorry. I'm like 20 video games behind. I can't take on a new one. Not right you now. have to get Animal Crossing Hutch. No! No! You would I, absolutely hate it. <laughs> I, I couldn't get into that first or the um the 3DS it's one. An You'd HD get super now, stressed though. out, go True. into like deep debt under Tom Nook. <laughs> He's like, just put it on the credit card. <laughs> oh, God. Guys, I'm having a really bad Animal Crossing fight. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. It's like a, the amount of time I actually have to play video games these days. By the time I actually get back to it, it's like I'm already like like three like months overdue, and then like I've got a warrant for my arrest. Delete, delete, delete. That'd be me. Yeah.
Does Animal Crossing have a gym? <laughs> it does. Yes. <laughs> what? I know both. Wait, have you ever one? gotten arrested in Animal Crossing? No, that's no. just where Lost and Found it's is at. Lost and Found, but they have police officers there. They have one who's like really like militant, and like, oh, I'm going to make this the best town ever. And the other one's like, oh, the other this one's, is lost. It's the not other really, one definitely yours? like steals drugs out of the evidence room. <laughs> Yeah. that sort of count. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they both do. It's just what kind of drugs. Yeah. One steroids and one is like, you know, the the good, good kush. <laughs> the good, good kush. <laughs> That's right. And with that, we'll see you on next week's episode of Heat Wave. Get your animals high. Bye. Bye. <laughs>